<clears throat> and it says I'm live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, Canadian Brick Builders episode 161 uh, Fever Dreams of Minions and Star Wars, and a few other oddball things. Uh, a lot of news tonight, uh, a lot of different uh, things I didn't think there would be. Uh, I just confirmed that. Uh, it looks like the chat is working good. Okay, YouTube. Uh, we had StreamYard issues earlier today where StreamYard wasn't able to connect to um, to YouTube. So when I created the video, I wasn't 100% sure if it would actually create the uh, the video um, or create, the, create it properly and link it, I guess, to StreamYard. So that's where I was... Uh, just verifying, so everything looked good there. Okay, um, everybody can hear me, I hope. Just double-check that. Uh, David Sincere was in way earlier today, just after I created the chat, to say helicopters, because that's basically all I put into the description for YouTube. Um, uh, Brick Bunnies TV are, are here. Hashtag not enough copters. Uh, yes, Mastermind Toys had a chain-wide sale that ended today. Buy one, get one, 30% off. Agreed, not as good as the buy one we'll get one half price that we used to do at Sellers. Um, and Ben, you're also saying that uh, Lego is overpriced at Mastermind to start off with. I think they're pretty much on par, I thought, unless since the acquisition takeover thing that happened where they went bankrupt and someone bought them, they've raised their prices. I don't know. I haven't looked for a while. Uh, Battery Powered Bricks, hello, welcome. Um, and yes. Mm. I've said a lot of stuff in the past few minutes, so I'll just say cool, because I don't know what that yes is in reference to. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, we got a few people watching, uh, four in the chat right now, or four in the, um, four people live watching, watching live now. Uh, yeah, apparently my brain is screwed up. Um, I also have a bit of a cough, and I had a little bit of a headache earlier that uh, is my own fault because I went to go, or I worked too late and ended up... Uh, not making dinner till like seven o'clock. So I got a bit of a headache because I find if I don't eat dinner at a reasonable hour, six ish, um, or if I go too long without, with having food, without having food, it, uh, it'll give me a headache. So, Oh yes. If I could hear you. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Uh, like I said, a little bit slow in the brain. Uh, so yeah. Um, my, um, my week's been kind of interesting. Um, I'm trying to think if I got a lot of work Lego done. I did some tidying up in my room. Uh, I've put all the new space sets into a store. Well, a bin. That could be the bin to take apart. I don't know. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just trying to find a better view here. Let's just do that way. Uh, it could be the bin that we that I'll use to take apart in the future. Um, like I said, I don't really have space. I don't have space to put the space sets. Space. So I've been kind of tidying that up. I've kept the the characters out, of course, because that's really what I was after was the characters. But the builds are cool. I haven't built the latest uh, station, the latest um, components, uh, because I've been playing a lot of board games. Uh, my kid has uh, not been able to use social media this week because of uh, reasons. Um, so he's been a little bored and he's just gotten on to, Hey dad, let's play video games. So most of the week we've been playing uh, Settlers of Catan, uh, which is the first time he's really been able to play it. Um, without, like we used to play the junior version, uh, which was fun, but it's nowhere near Catan. And he's now 17 ish turning 17. Yeah. Turning. Well, he's turning. My math is bad today. 2006. He's turning 18 this year. He's 17 right now. Um, and uh, he's, um, sorry, <laughs> bit of day. Um, he's, uh, he's turning 17. Uh, so now he gets kind of the jokes around Catan when you have, you know, certain cards and you're looking for other certain cards. And, you know, when you say stuff and you don't really think about what you're saying and then you, you, Say something out loud. Anyways, if you play Gatan, you understand. If not, uh, the cards are sheep, wood, and the other three are grain, ore, and uh, brick, clay. 
uh, which apparently brick is a is a comment now, or brick means something else in the in the young kid world, uh, in the uh, in the teenage world, and it isn't a, a nice word apparently, or not a nice word. It's just you know, it's taken a it's it's gotten its own uh, lingo for something that you wouldn't expect it to be. Anyways, so uh, yeah, he was asking for he's like I have wood, I need sheep, and you know things like that. Um, so, you know, you just kind of go on these little trades. So that's one, one of the fun things about Catan, I think, personally. But anyways, uh, and then we've been playing uh, Ticket to Ride, uh, the European version of Ticket to Ride, um, which is a lot harder than the American version, I find, uh, because bridges and tunnels and things like that, or um, not bridges, tunnels and train stations and things. Anyways, um, so we've been playing that. We were actually playing a game just before I came down, and we haven't finished, but... Uh, he has yet to beat me in a game. So that is his goal. He wants to kick, kick his dad's butt. Hasn't happened yet. So um, let's see what else have I been doing. Like I said, not a lot of Lego stuff. Um, I, like I said, tidied up a bit down here. I uh, haven't really built anything this week. Um, I was away on the weekend at a friend, so I didn't really get a chance to do anything with that. Um, so yeah, it's been a pretty blah week i want to get back in to building and i just haven't found the time or the energy uh after being done work most days it's like ugh. anyway uh, alternate candidate welcome hello um i'm just going to quickly pull up a tab here and just uh look at my photos to see if i miss something because that's usually how i i record my day um oh yeah eclipse happened uh we managed to see that um yeah that was about it eclipse uh so yeah the eclipse happened um obviously uh my original plan for the eclipse was to we were in the 99.6 percentile here in peterborough uh if i drove 30 minutes south to uh port hope it would be the 100 uh which i was going to do uh and then uh, that morning i got my snow tires taken off my summer tires put on um and uh as I was doing that, the clouds started rolling in, and I'd already heard that might be a cloudy uh, chance of clouds. Uh, so by the time I got home, and by about noon, when we were trying to decide whether or not to go down to Port Hope or not, it was really cloudy, and we decided not to. So we stayed home, played some Catan, um, or Ticket to Ride. I can't. No, I think we we're playing Catan still at that point. Uh, and we were just sitting there watching her playing, and all of a sudden, I started seeing the sun popping through. So they became sunny enough in peterborough that we think there was a few clouds in the sky but we could totally watch the eclipse which was great uh port hope at the looks of it was completely cloudy uh because i could look in the southern direction and it just looked like pretty heavy clouds so um so yeah uh we have a request from a viewer the request is helicopters proof that that's all he thinks about um spin up your uh, helicopter computer and join us sir if you want um so yeah um and yeah probably taking a helicopter might have been an interesting way to see the eclipse i don't know um so yeah i managed to uh see 99 percent of it uh 99 points um point six. uh i was trying to take a picture of my camera and actually i'll throw those up because i did horrible i don't know i had heard that you should uh, that it was recommended to take pictures um Move this over here. Oh, not what I wanted. But I heard you. It was recommended to uh, take pictures using the lens of your solar of your glasses uh, because you can destroy the lens on your camera. Uh, so at the bottom of the picture, you can see a little bit of white here. Uh, this is the first picture I took, and I think yeah, I thought there was a little bit of here you could see, um, but you know, not very great. Um, I eclipsed the helicopter, Dave is saying. Uh, again, you can see the paper from the, the lens. I was trying my hardest. Uh, totally crapped out. Um, so I was trying this throughout the event. Um, trying to get something. Uh, and failing horribly. I tried a video. Well, no, I didn't mean to do that. That was just a random accident. Um, come on. I don't know what the swirly is for. I don't think that was a video. No, apparently it was. Um, here you can kind of see a bit of a, like it's not round anymore, but 
by this time it was almost done, I would say. And I think what ended up happening was, yeah, that was it. There's the Catanium. Uh, I think at that point, what ended up happening was that, uh, um, was that I ended up um, missing the 99.6 part, I would say. Um, oh, not waiting for his computer, waiting for his youngest son to get to sleep. Uh, helicopters, would that help? No, not at all. Um, so, yeah, um, it was, uh, I don't know, it was good to see. I mean, I know we won't see another one. I think there's, there's another one in southern Ontario in 2029. Um, that will get a partial eclipse for, but I think the next full eclipse in this area was, uh, was what, 2144 or something like that. So, uh, they do happen once every 18 months, I learned, you know, got some educational stuff. Um, but it depends on what part of the world you're in. I think the next one, one of the next ones is going to be through Europe and Spain, I think in 2026. So that's probably the next, the next one. Um, so yeah, so um also i'm looking for vehicles um and uh not yet i don't need to buy a vehicle yet um but uh it's it's on my mind i'm pulling the oh south america dave says okay cool uh i've just been pulling um pulling stats i i i got a spreadsheet um, of vehicle stuff for uh for what's coming out and last night um in south america in two years okay thanks dave uh and uh because this page is up, I'm just going to throw it over. Uh, last night, they debuted the uh, the new Toyota 4Runner. Oh, they got different colors here. I haven't seen these pictures. Uh, let me just get a better uh, better shot of it here. Change the camera, too. Uh, the new Toyota 4Runner, which is, you know, it, the first time it's been replaced in 16 years. Um, yeah, that's not what I want. I didn't need an interior shot. Um which is a nice looking car. I would like just a nice colored picture though, people. Anyway. Um, you know where I have them? Um, so yeah, I just, like I said, pulling data and I've been debating whether or not to, like I have a Ford currently, so I've been debating whether or not to uh, look towards, um, to look towards a, uh, a Toyota uh, and that's like one of the off-road versions of the Forerunner, but uh, this one looks really nice. I like the color of this and the overall design. So yeah, you know, just things that are piquing my interest. Um, you know, when the Lego, uh, when there's not a lot of Lego to uh, to do, and you got a lot of work going on and stuff, at least I can peruse some pictures, uh, which I've been doing. Um, anyway, I can actually move this tab back over because I want to read that later. Uh, so and there we go, nice little Google page. Um, you know what, why don't we hop into the news? Um, auto spreadsheet. Yes, it is literally an automotive spreadsheet. Uh, in its beige. Uh, that one in particular. Ooh, that'd be nice if Lego makes a rough forerunner. That would be pretty sweet. And hi, uh, Sean, welcome. Uh, I think that that um, that beige has a special color, mud something. I forget what it is, but it's uh, it's an interesting color. Anyway. Um, all right, why don't we hop into the news since it's here, and uh, we'll wait for David to join us in a shortly. Uh, start off with uh, the one and only Lego Ideas set this week, uh, which is the uh, the Reptiles, um, uh, which is built by uh, Lego Truman. I think they've done a few projects in the past. Um, the build features three different types of reptiles, including a veiled chameleon, leopard gecko, and a box turtle. Um, they're all pretty awesome. Oh, I think he's me. I, I hope you're talking about the Forerunner and not the turret, not the uh, not the, the Lego Ideas. Uh, I like a boxy SUV. Um, boxy ish SUV. Uh, I'm looking for something I could pull a trailer and pull a little bit more than what I've got with currently with my vehicle. So, which is a, a Ford Ford Explorer, and the new Explorer actually pulls less. And my lease on my Explorer is up in next year, so that's why I'm kind of shopping the market now anyways there's a uh, the chameleon the uh the gecko is it a gecko lizard whatever it was and the box turtle so pretty neat uh i could see this becoming a set i mean it's you know like uh i would say a high-end three-in-one set creator three-in-one without the build three mocks out of this one set 
this instead is build three different mocks. But um, but yeah, I mean they're very colorful. They very they look pretty decent and lifelike ish. So why not? Uh, there also was an article on uh, the Brick Fan this week about the uh, Lego Ideas projects currently under development. I thought this was going to be a slow news week, so I pulled it up, but uh, there is actually a lot of tabs. A lot of Brothers Brick stuff, too. A lot of pictures to look at. Um, the beige one is ugly. Yeah, I can see that. you got to be a fan for it. I like the blue. And uh, like I said, they literally announced the car yesterday. So they have no pricing. They have very little in the world way of specs. I think there's nine different trim levels on this vehicle. Um, I think that's what I read. Because uh, it's like a hybrid and non-hybrid version for some of them. So it's kind of crazy. And I won't know pricing on those things until like November, September, somewhere in there. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, under development projects for uh, the, this, the updated list, list for April includes the, uh, the Twilight House. Uh, which will probably, I think that was the last one, the last winner, I think. Uh, there's a Nightmare Before Christmas set, sorry, which was approved in February uh, February 8th of 2023. Uh, Jaws, approved May 31st, 2023. Uh, maybe when Dave joins later, we'll we'll see which ones he's interested in. Jaws is kind of interesting. I'd, I'd want the Jaws set for the boat. I don't care much for the look of the shark. Um, and I do know that's all about it, but I, you know, I prefer the boat mock over the shark mock, I guess. I like the movie, uh, the cat or a cat by the yellow brick, uh, which is the May 31st, 2023 one, uh, reading, reading, reading. Uh, this is a building contest for me, myself and I winner, or sorry, me, myself and I, uh, this is from the singles day, uh, building contest, um, by, by FR underscore a, this is approved July 18th. Nice little bookshop. This will be more like our bookshop. This will be more like a gift of purchase. Uh, Disney Magic by 2A2A. Approved September 1st. This is from the Disney 100 Years of Fairy Tales. Um, I can definitely see a lot of Disney fans being interested in this, especially if it comes with a bunch of minifigures like that. The Twilight House by Lobster Thermidor. We already talked about that. That was December 19th. Um, 2023? Yeah, 2023. Uh, the Botanical Gardens, uh, which was another one that was kind of weird because we already have a Botanical Garden set. But anyway, uh, December 19th, 2023. So obviously we're getting another one. Uh, Knowledge is Power by Daniel Bradley. Approved March 1st, 2024. Uh, celebrates the World of STEM uh, building contest. And, uh, oh yeah, the uh, Micro Rail Command Center, uh, March 13th which is like a mini monorail with a space baby riding in it, for the record. Definitely not yellow, though, because I'm never going to say it's a yellow baby again, apparently, until we get a yellow baby. Uh, vehicle Moon Car, also part of the uh, Exploring the Cosmos uh, contest for March 13th. Um, <clears throat> this one's kind of fun, too. I like that one. That's it for that. Uh, next up, uh, a couple of books that uh, were... Well, one book that we haven't talked about, this one, and another one I think we have. So, But uh, Lego Halloween Game Book um, is coming in August. Uh, it's obviously a book themed around Halloween games, 50 ideas, games, challenges for you to build with your kids or loved ones or yourself, whatever you, whatever you prefer. Uh, the book has over 50 different Lego um Halloween themed game puzzles, challenges, and activities you can do with your friends, friends and family. Um, designed by my friend and former, not my friend, but, uh, well, I do know Marianne, so I guess technically a friend, uh, and former LEGO California Master Model Builder. Uh, it's going to be available for pre-order today at $20 US, released August 6th. All right. Another book. Um, uh, the updated uh, Star Wars Visual Dictionary is now available. I don't think we talked about that. That's an April 4th. It was, I can't remember if we talked about this one or not. Uh, it comes with the Darth Maul figure. Um, so that one's now available. Uh, and again, in the, I can't remember if we talked about it last time. I think we did because this was April 3rd. I just wanted to make sure we did cover it off. Uh, the gift for purchase that was announced last week. Um, still no idea when it's going to be. Yeah, we did talk about this. Still no ideas to when it will be a gift for purchase. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, let's just see what my Lego gift for purchase right now is. It's still the springtime flower set, it looks to it. Yeah, still that one. That one goes on until the 14th, so another four days. So till uh, the end of the weekend. And then we'll have something new to, to talk about. So probably tomorrow, they'll, or the day after, they'll probably announce what the next uh, gift for purchase is. All right, uh, up next, we have not technically a new set, but a uh, combo pack, three-in-one super pack uh, for the Space Explorers 60441, um, which I'll probably pick up one of these when it comes out because usually what happens is the price of these, usually what happens is David joins us at the right perfect time. How are you doing? Good. Good. You'll pick one of these up too, I assume, because it's another space package. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and usually yeah, these I'll, are I'll take one. Even though I, I already own two of of the sets, I own the the, the other bike and and the, the interstellar spaceship. Yeah, uh, I don't own the mech yet, but I'm surely going to pick one up because you get three sets for the price of two, actually. So. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's uh, it, it tends to be a better deal. Uh, like you basically. You get it will be thirty nine ninety nine Canadian. Okay. Which and this is a twenty. Uh, this is a thirty-five. So basically, set? you're getting the poly bag for free. Well, how much? How much is this one? This one, oh, yeah, this one's twenty-five. That one's about fifteen or eighteen. Yeah. No, it's not. It's like fourteen or thirteen or fourteen. Really? Yep. Yeah. Really? You don't believe me, Jeff? Come Never on. believe you. You talk about helicopters all the time. Come on. Uh, Thirty-nine dollars coming May the first. Um. It's interesting. It's on Shop at Home. I don't usually find them on like Walmart's and stuff like that. Um, Twenty-five and okay, fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So basically, the poly bag is two cents off. Well, free. Yeah. It's all you pay two cents of the poly bag price. Yeah. Gotcha. So yeah, it, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, you're still getting. Well, like, I mean, you're, you're getting, getting your, your money is worth because and you're getting that, they, they, that spaceship alone is worth. Like, yeah, I love more it. than twenty five. So I'd love to have another one, even though I've just said I put most of the, the most of the bigger sets that I built are in a pin. Uh, the vehicles, the the three original vehicles I got are on one of my space displays, just kind of set down. Um, but uh, but anyways, okay, cool. I knew that I knew it was like five or six bucks off or something like that, but I wasn't sure. I thought I, for some reason, uh, this one in my head was like an $18 set. Yeah. Um, that's that. That's because you, you sent me the, uh, a link way, way back. That's in right. January. So yeah, in my head it is. Okay. That explains it. Yeah. Cause I got an Amazon alert that it was on sale and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was more expensive than it at Walmart <laughs> and high hide Axel. How you doing? Um, all right. Next up, we do have a new gift for purchase. And have we? How many? How many of these little village? Or how many of these stores have we had now? Announced. Because in my brain, we've had three of them, and there, everything I've read is saying this is the second one. Um, so that's where I'm. Well, uh, you're, you're the one who's keeping track of, of all. Oh, well, them. and I'm not obviously because I'm, you know. <laughs> Um, brick set. What was that number? Four zero six eight four. I don't know. Maybe this one was announced a while ago, and it's just uh, it's been officially announced now. But in my brain, there's uh, really in my brain, there's really, really, really something in my brain. Let's just see what uh, gifts were purchased. Fruit store. They don't have this as a the fruit store. They don't have a tag for this. Ugh. Okay, gift of purchase, 2024. There's only been six of them. Uh, interesting, I was going to point this out later, but I guess I don't have to now because it's here. There's actually two Mimic uh, promotional numbers. Hmm. One's 864, one's 865. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that is. I'm wondering if it's just a European and a Canadian or in a North American version or something like that. Could um, be. Very, did, did, didn't, they, didn't Lego say they were going to re-release it? at a later date oh uh, no i don't think that was this was the one they were going to do that for but you, you sure? could be right you could be right 
Uh, again, I've been wrong because the, the fruit store and, and the flower store are the only two. Apparently, we're covering off the letters F this year. Uh, so what other F places fudge. can we get? Ne next is one is the fudge store. Fudge store and then the, I guess you wouldn't want to do like market. Flea market, firehouse, no, fires. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, okay. So yeah, this one, uh, 337 pieces. Uh, it'll most likely require a high gift of purchase price as well, or a high purchase price to get it. Um, the uh, guess is around second half of April or beginning of May for this one. Oh, you know what the, th the third one is? Maybe I'm thinking about the um, the Ninjago docs uh, type sets too. Yeah. Uh, or the Ninjago ones, but anyway. Uh, all right. Set news. Uh, Despicable Me 4 has released another set. Uh, there's probably a couple more coming. This one's the uh, Minions and Banana Car, which comes, banana. With, a few, with, banana, which comes with a few different sized uh, Minions, which is kind of interesting, uh, especially this big bulky one here, uh, which is uh, Mega Minion Dave. Um, Dave. And I thought I saw one where there was a really tall like Kevin or something like that, like an extremely tall Kevin. But I again, I'm not sure anymore because... You know, uh, this was uh, uh, the Australian League of Certified Store, Bricks Mega Store, has revealed this one. So uh, it's 136 pieces, features a banana car with a souped up engine, along with the figures AVL Tim. I'm not sure what the AVL stands for, but Tim, uh, Pit Crew Ron, Mega Minion Dave, and Mel. Uh, listed at uh, 29, U uh, 29 Australian dollars, or probably around 24 US. 35 probably Canadian. Um, but yeah, kind of interesting little set. Good for the figures if you're collecting the figs. Uh, I'll be going to see this movie. Uh, oh, that's what else I did. I went to go see um, Kung Fu Panda 4 on the weekend. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, it was, it was fun. Um, it wasn't as good as maybe the, the last few of them were, but it was still a, an... an yeah, I guess because Jacob doesn't want to go because he said that after the that like the second one was good, the third one was eh okay. Okay. And now he's afraid well, like, that the fourth one is gonna dis demolish all the uh I recently saw the, the third one again and I, I I found it enjoyable enough. Uh one of the humorous things in this last one was their security force is a bunch of bulls. And at one point they're chasing um, Kung Fu Panda dude. They're chasing him through uh, through the city, and they go into a china shop, and he goes <laughs> kind of running through, and all the bulls are like like trying to squeeze past all the china because <laughs> a bull in the china shop. And for the record, they don't break anything, but I thought it was hilarious because I'm like, ah, I got that reference. <laughs> probably a lot of people might not have, or maybe some did, but kids probably wouldn't have, but you know, I love it when they put uh, kid humor or adult humor in movies. It's fun. So, so how you been, Dave? We'll take a little break from news and ooh, you ended up buying it. I ended up buying it because race? it was, it was, I think on, on Monday. Yeah. It ended up being 23% off. You're supposed to let some of your friends know. Well, it was just a couple of dollars less than it was the last time I, I emailed to you, but you know, Paul did a good job of talking about it and, and, yeah. and selling it to me. So I ended up getting it. I, I just opened it up. So, so what I price did you pay? Fifty seventy one, I think. Something oh, so it's about five dollars because right now it's back to fifty five forty three. Yeah, it's 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 back up. So next time, if you do see, well, you're not going to see it anymore because you know. Yeah, I'm, uh, well, I still have my my camel camel. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing what I alert have. on it. So uh, I have an alert for 47. So maybe I'll just raise it to 51. Because uh, 47. Cause, yeah, is... Paul, cause, cause, cause Paul did a good job of talking about it and selling it to us. So I ended yeah. up ordering it because I, I I was like oh, 50. I I I still think it's a little pricey, but I really wanted the the book and yeah. Like I said, I read all the reviews uh, on Amazon, and they were all good. Yeah, yeah. Despite the price, and and I saw other people talking about it, saying, "Yeah, it's worth the money. Get it." And so, 
Yeah. Maybe I need to fire two of you. Although I can't really fire either of you because you know. <laughs> but anyway. That you get you get you get one, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get my hands on one one of these days. I just uh Yeah, it's probably gonna gonna go down again yeah. in the next week. Yeah, or yeah, so. yeah. So. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, well, it, it was, and in funny thing is, I think both of these times it was like a limited deal. It was limited, limited time, limited yeah. time offer. So yeah, like an hour it was just two. like on on the Monday you have to get it. If you yeah. don't, it's gonna go back up. So. Gotcha, <clears throat> gotcha. Cool. So yeah, and so I was I was off Monday for the eclipse. Okay. Because I could took off work because the kids were off yeah. of school. Yeah, yeah. The, all the the, the 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 schools were closed here in Laval. Yeah, same cause, here. Because they didn't want to, to bother about protecting kids. He said, uh, "Parents yeah, protect I, your kids." I heard there's a few reasons. It's also around the time when kids will be going walking home. Yeah, right, and all that stuff too. So we're getting so, going. So yeah, I, I ended up. Uh, I got. I had, I had already had my glasses that I ordered from Astronomy mm -hmm. Plus in longer year. Yeah. So and uh, and Lorena took off on, on the afternoon. She worked in, uh, on the on the morning, and mm -hmm. when she took off work at twelve o five, she phoned me and she said, "Dave, we got to move if you want to go because I we decided to go down." To the south on the south shore of Montreal to my mother's yeah. house, yeah. who lives in Brassard, because we thought it would be a better spot to see the eclipse. And sure. you got a full two minutes of the eclipse. And yeah. my, and Lorena phones me and, and says, I just got into the car and they're saying on the radio that traffic is just crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> traffic everybody was leaving Montreal. And taking the Champlain, uh, the Samuel de Champlain Bridge, to the um, eastern townships because yeah, yeah. that that where that was the the better spot to see the eclipse. So everybody was rushing yeah. to the south on the what, south shore. So you got a total eclipse. We got a total eclipse. Yeah. Okay. I got a full two minutes, and it was like we had a little bit of cloud cover, but like nothing. Nothing we yeah. could clearly see the sun with our yeah. glasses yeah, and yeah. we got a full two minutes and 18 seconds of eclipse so we yeah. were able to take off the, our glasses during those two minutes and i mean it's an experience of a lifetime you you oh, yeah. you have to see that once in your lifetime like well, it was like, too cloudy for us darn it and and when the eclipse got total it was like total darkness we could actually see uh, venus in the oh, night, yeah? shining in the night sky. Oh, cool! I never thought about that. Um, so yeah, totally night. Well, not total nighttime, like nighttime. It was like more like dawn or or or. Um, but I mean, it and it was wonderful to to experience that with the kids and with my mom. So yeah, definitely a cool experience. <laughs> I don't know if you saw Matthew Gunning posting this just after the eclipse. Let me just uh, pull this back up. A Google search based on time. <laughs> Find info about something. Just ask. You can say something like cancel the Amazon River. <laughs> Sorry for everybody who I just triggered with that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, like April 8th at 128. I'm sorry, April 8th at 128 a.m. is down here at the bottom. April 8th at 11:28 a.m. is here. And uh, the two questions, my eyes hurt, and why do my eyes hurt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming this is valid because I have heard also that in Ontario, the number of people going to eye doctors in the past, like past few days, has well, gone up. I, I just I just saw um, a news report uh, over here in Quebec, and yeah. the, the journalist was actually saying that they consulted with a number of of eye specialist, specialists. And they didn't didn't see an increase in visits. Okay. And maybe it's maybe so, it's an American thing. Um, I mean, I also posted the picture, and I don't. I'm not sure if that was. Uh, well, here, let me pull that one up too, just because. Uh, well, they made a, a, uh, the, the 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 authorities actually made a big deal here in Quebec about 
glasses and wearing your glasses and the importance of not looking at the eclipse. Yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah. have any glasses, so yeah, I, did, I, I saw that. That I was the last see. eclipse, actually, and Donald Trump was the president at that time. Oh, that was the and, last eclipse? Okay. Yeah, that was the last eclipse, and Donald Trump was president of the United States, and yeah. look at the the good example that he's setting. Yeah, well, that's why I was thinking, like, I, I didn't realize that he, this was actually during an eclipse. I figured they just That was during an eclipse. eclipse. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I thought, I thought th that's probably a good way to explain why you shouldn't do it, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you know, yeah, not that we're that political during anymore. his presidency. He looked yeah, at yeah, an yeah. eclipse without any glasses. Gotcha. Congratulations on being the dumbass of the world. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we, we watched the eclipse on Monday, uh, and I was off. So, and I, after that, we had uh, we had dinner with my mom. Cool. Yeah, because we were there. And. I'd like, I'd like I said, I, I, since I was off on Monday I, and I saw the book being on sale, I said, oh, what the heck, I'm going to pull the trigger. So I did pull the trigger on that. Yeah. I also uh, contemplating buying two of the Space Lab sets from okay. Mastermind because they were 30% oh, off. I'll buy one, 30%. one yeah. So that, that would ended up being 50% off for each. Yeah. But and uh, I didn't, I didn't pull the trigger on that one because I was, I was like, what am I going to do with two space labs? I mean, I want one, but yeah, <clears throat> build more space labs. <laughs> do what Dana's doing with the friends one. Yeah, which I is know. absolutely awesome. So. Yeah, it's it's really awesome. His friends trying to, and I, I like it that he's calling it Happy Valley because it's a oh, reference, it? direct reference okay. to, to. Um, what's it called? Uh, for all mankind. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a great called, show. If, you, if you're Trump. a sci-fi fan, you should watch. Yeah. For all mankind. I think he's also calling it Friendstron, or yeah, he like calls he calls he calls the team Friendstron, and he calls yeah, yeah. his his base at the Valley. Valley. Yeah. Yep. 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 So yeah. All right. Good. So yeah, I got the book. Uh, I also did uh, manage to snag the the row the two rovers set the space rovers the city the city space rovers the big one and the the, the smaller one. Okay. So I ordered those. They're gonna come in eventually. But... How did you? Oh, that's through your contact type thing. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say there was another deal that I didn't know about. <laughs> No, yeah, no, it, it it ended up being a a good deal after all. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, I did those. go to go to visit Dave on the weekend, uh, Dave Cutters. And you I got a big up, bin of Lego. I, well, I got two three quarter size bins of Lego because his big bin was overflowing. Um, so yeah, I did that <laughs> as well. Visited with him for a bit. Um, so forgot about that. So the Saturday for me was just a lot of running around, getting stuff done. So. Yeah, Saturday for me was was also very busy because I mm -hmm. went to the Laval Rocket. Okay, yeah, the, the 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 the, the matchup between the AHL. Yeah, yeah, AHL. Uh, it's yeah. between. It was between. Well, it's the Montreal Farm Club, but mm. uh, they were um, they they're in their run for the playoffs. They have to win okay. all their games actually to get to the playoffs. Okay. And they were facing the Springfield Thunderbirds. But the most important thing is that I got to see the first, the Montreal first round draft pick. Okay. David Rainbacker, because mm -hmm. he, he finished his season over in Euro Europe. So they, they signed him for the, the rest of the season here in, in Laval. And okay. I, I got to say, I was, I was impressed by his play. He said, cool. for a 19 year old, I mean, he's bigger and stronger than me, and taller. And wow, that's going to be a great player if he continues to develop. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, and and after that, we because it was with Jacobs all uh, hockey team, so we all the players were there, the parents were there, and after afterwards we got uh, some dinner together. So. <laughs> I, we ended up at a steakhouse, and I I ate some great 
New York strip with Brie on it. And wow. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> um, right now, most people, well, hopefully right now, most people in the chats are laughing because as you were talking and not looking at your screen, <laughs> uh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, well, has he won a, a, a Lego helicopter <laughs> trophy? <Nope>. No. <laughs> Oh jeez. Anyway, cool. So you've been so yeah, busy. Like, yeah, I've been busy, but not Lego wise. <clears throat> yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Like I said, I but, wanted but to I, stuff too. And... I, I did. My 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 kids are still playing with my my city space base that I built over the Easter. Well, that's cool. Easter that's weekend, cool. so it's still up in in our living room. So yeah, kids are playing with it, and I I I also got out um the the space base the city space base that was released the previous year yeah the previous iteration that that, yeah. that that's compatible because it mm -hmm. has the same airlock so i cool. they they ended up having a big space base so awesome awesome uh i did actually place a lego order this week um what, because what, what, i need what, what, some bricks and pieces parts and stuff. Oh, and I, oh I got a, I got a notification that I am my bricks and pieces order that I did February March March yeah the 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 land the Denmark part I was actually yeah. billed to my to my credit card so. credit card so you'll get it at the end of the month basically or by the fifteenth or so yeah or the, sorry yeah. the twenty fifth it, it's coming I know it's yeah. coming. When is going to be here? I don't know, but it's coming. You'll probably get it the, in two weeks, the week of the 25th, 26th. It's usually how long it takes. I, I find I've been tracking like from from billing to arrival, and it's about 15 days, which is horrible. But, you know, um, at least you're getting them. Uh, yeah. I did not order a, I did not order one of those uh, um, batches. Like, I didn't order standard, right? It was just best sellers that I ordered uh, because... If it doesn't qualify for gift of purchase, then you know, yeah, maybe yeah. I'll wait till double VIP points or something, or I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm and, thinking they'll even and, and there were that. times that they didn't count it as it for the double VIP points, also. Yeah, so I you might I probably do it when I need too. parts. So, I mean, there's some parts I need, but I don't need, need you know, it's just like, oh, I want to get these parts, I <laughs> but yeah. just. It's just material stuff, Jeff. Yeah, exactly. So, but uh, that's but what I said to Jacob yesterday because I had a big argument with Jacob, and I I told him, and I'm I should have said I should say that on a Lego newscast, but you're not gonna get happiness through material material things. <laughs> and I'm looking at Jeff's collection behind him. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no happiness from material things if i can get it to work i'll be happy <laughs> i gotta start working on that stuff too but anyway um all right well, yeah. shall we get so, back into news yeah sure all right i'm gonna put on my glasses oh somebody's happy <laughs> what oh i thought he was putting on his solar glasses or something so he couldn't see no no i i'm gonna <laughs> donate my glasses to actually to there's a, a place you can ship them. Okay. And they're going to distribute the, those glasses to South American kids yeah. for the next eclipse. Because oh, that's cool obviously idea. They, can, they cannot afford it like yeah. we do. So. Yeah. Apparently, it's uh, put your glasses on like an old man day. Uh, yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> hey, I'm turning 50 this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Star Wars, um, there were a couple of Star Wars sets announced today, three of them, I believe. First one being a Brickhead Commander, C uh, Cody. Cody! Um, which, you know, for those that love Brickheads, they'll probably be happy, especially Star Wars ones. Uh, 147 pieces, May release, probably May the 1st-ish, I would assume. I, I, I think there's, there's, like, too much details. You cannot, like, see his arms or legs, or they, they're, like, non Distinguishable for well, most for of the, the brickheads have little have little short legs and arms. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I agree. It, it 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 it's not their best work. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'd agree. Like that. I agree. Um, but anyways, yeah. So uh, that one has been announced. 
Uh, like I said, May the 1st, or I'd say in a May release, uh, a few of the other Star Wars sets were slated for May 1st. I'm surprised they're not slated for May the 4th, but, uh, you know, who knows? I'm also just curious what day May the 4th is this year. It's a sun Oh, it's a Saturday. Interesting. So the malls will be busy, on, or the Lego store will be busy on May the 4th. Uh, also, I'm uh, not announced going to a vow. Yeah, no. Also, an answer to uh, two additional sets, um, also by the Australian Certified Lego. I, I've Star read Man. that this Droideka is is actually able to foil fold up. Yes, I was into get a it. ball. Yeah, well, the original one that they built, the Technic one, did it too. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, I, I think this one is actually more of a ball than. Oh, well, we'll see in a minute once we get down there. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so the first, uh, I mean, the Droidica is one of them. The other one is the Mod es Moss Espa pod race set, 718 pieces. Uh, this is one of those, uh, you know, table display type sets. Um, you know, and it's in mini scale. Mini scale, yeah, pod race going on. Because um, I first, when I first saw the title of that set, yeah, I thought it was going to be a remake, a minifig size remake. Yeah, uh, I wonder how well those ones sold originally, and I wonder how well they would sell if they did a full size one now. I know a lot of people didn't really find that whole section of the movie interesting. Um, yeah, but if you're diehard Star I Wars fan, never had the first you, ones, yeah, yeah, you you want like a yeah, 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 I can see that. But, and uh, and there's there's as time goes by, yeah. More and more of these Star Wars fans are were young kids when Episode One was released. Yeah, so true, that so. that was their introduction to Star Wars, and they have, yeah, like us yeah. with Episode Four, they have fond memories of Episode yeah. One, and, and a lot of uh, a lot more fans, adult fans, yeah. because now they're adults. Yeah, yeah, and now, yeah, it's now been twenty five years. Yeah, they're in their twenties. 20s, 30s, so they have some 20, money. 30s, so they're, so they're asking Lego to produce more Episode 1 sets. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, we are getting to that. That's the next article. Um, the dream stuff. So yeah, and then there's also the Droidica, which we talked about a few minutes ago. Uh, that does roll up into a ball. I mean, pretty much like the movie version. Um, it curls up. It I think that one is. It looks better than the the Technic one? The Technic one that we got oh, yeah. a few years ago. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, but given that Lego has more more rounded parts now yeah. than they, they did before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, for it, sure. It, it's obvious that it's going to yeah. be. And it comes with a mini Dredica as well, which is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> choo, 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 choo. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Star Wars sets. And then, you know, the dreams that we've been having, um, helicopters, uh, <laughs> no helicopters are, are we're not used. dreaming about helicopters. So, well, you might be, but none oh. of the rest of us are. Anyways, <laughs> uh, another set of May releases, uh, three new dream sets. This came from the Mexico Lego certified store. Um, these are larger it's scale sets, and I really like the one of the dinosaurs. Give me a dream. Boom, 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 um, so boom, the first boom, one here is the Never Witch Midnight boom, Raven, a thousand two hundred pieces, uh, which is pretty large set. It's got a raven with a, a little. Structure. That raven, the head of the raven is actually very, very well done. Yeah, so I was thinking this is it's a, instantly recognizable as a yeah, raven. Yeah, I was thinking it was actually pretty what well, nicely built. So um, I can see a lot of people kind of liking this and. And stuff. Um, <clears throat> so it's got uh, you know a couple of the main characters um, as well, or at least uh, Mateo, I think his name is. Um, just a better shot of it. And I've not I've not following the TV show, so I don't know much about it. There is a there is a minifigure like, like a, a bird size. Well, I, I like I said I I watched the first season with with yeah yeah with Isaac um, and Isaac liked it. Yeah, I find it meh. And <laughs> more than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty boring. I got eight episodes in and stopped. Um, so there, there is a like a another they a redo of the current. Uh, I guess it was the eagle that we had previously, uh, with Raven, you know, black wings with the fluorescent uh, or the translucent tips. 
Um, that bird appears in all the sets. Looks like it's stealing something in most of them, or at least, oh, probably not in this one, these, these little bell jars. Uh, in the other sets, it's carrying those. Uh, there's Cooper's uh, Robot Dinosaur C-Rex, uh, 917 pieces, which is a large, colorful dinosaur that looks like it's made out of cars and other bits and pieces. Um, again, there's the Raven. Um, He's also, a Carnosaur. Carnosaur? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I like that. And lastly, uh, Mado and Z-Bob, the Night Battle Mech. Which looks pretty cool as well. 1,333 pieces. Like, a, like a, Sorry? A supercharged Z-Bob. Yeah. Yeah, but I, what I'm liking, it's like just, I mean, obviously the, I like the, the, the green color in this one, the transparent green. And it's like, oh, there's a cool windscreen, a windscreen in there. Maybe that'll lead to some nice space, uh, retro space sets, although it's not trans neon green. You know, I can see it uh, bringing some, and this big dish as well. Um, I can see some interesting space sets being made out of this. Space. And in general, it's got some really nice looking pieces, like these larger white um, yep. white parts and stuff. So not something I'll probably buy, but uh, kind of interesting nonetheless. Um, for the record, I'm not looking at Chevy Equinoxes. So now that I've said that, I'm going to get more bombarded. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, don't, uh, buy a, don't buy a Chevy Equin Equinox. <laughs> So uh, new bad reviews, dude. Yeah, yeah. New Elementary. That's why I said I'm not buying. Uh, new Elementary is, uh, they haven't had a lot of articles lately. Uh, they did post one earlier this week uh, talking about uh, one of the New Elementary contributors. Uh, what do they do with the sets after they're done? Would you say uh, there was an eclipse in the news? What? The, would you say there was an eclipse in the news? Um, sure. I don't get that. I, I mean, I get the fact that we had an eclipse, but I, what do you mean by an eclipse in the moot news? Meaning there was like a gap. Oh, a gap. No, I wouldn't say there was a gap. We had a lot of news, I'd say. Um, well, you, you just said that new elementary didn't post anything. No, so, so a, a, a new elementary eclipse. Sure. Okay. See Bob's face is printed on the hood piece of that Mac. Oh, cool. I didn't catch that. Now I want to kind of go back and look. So go we are. Back. Go back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. I'm assuming that's what you mean by the hood of the Mac. Or are you talking about the vehicle? No, no. He's talking about the Mac. The Mac. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Uh, new elementary. Um, so, uh, Basically, new elementary sends sets out to people to review for parts and stuff like that. And it's just kind of a question, a, a story of one of the one of the people that receives them builds mocks out of the sets afterwards, um, and it's just kind of going over um, some of the products that he was given and uh, some of the stuff he managed to build. Not with obviously all the parts, but just in general. And we've seen a few of these before. Um, like I think I've seen this one previously in, in on the interwebs. Um, but still kind of cool to see. Um, got like a fire type guy. So obviously this guy's a Bionicle builder, but uh, it's doing very well at merging Bionicle with uh, with System. Uh, another like a Bionicle character reimagined. Pew pew. <laughs> Postcard from uh, Herv Hervantia. That almost looks like Boone. Lego Master. <laughs> oh, you know, that's one of the things I didn't catch. Um, the uh, announcement of Lego Masters Australia was made this week. Okay. Uh, it's starting on Sunday, and it's Australia versus the world. So, um, And we're and not we're, represented? No, because we don't have a Canadian show yet. Uh, but the building bells from, I think, season two, if I'm right... Uh, I can't... I'm trying to think of their names, and I can't remember, but uh, they're hosting, or they're representing in the States... So if you are a watcher of that, you'll at least recognize one team from uh, from previous uh, North American seasons. So uh, this was actually pretty cool, the Wingnut Crew. I mean, they're all pretty cool, but uh, I don't know. Never we should have that. a Canadian version of we, we, we should. Masters. We should. If only we could get that done. 
uh, and then this guy as well. Notice the TV. <laughs> uh, or yeah, global. We, just, we could be on global too. Uh, the interesting thing is, we know like Lego Masters season five has already finished taping a long time ago, and they uh, for the U.S. and they haven't actually announced it yet. Or is it season four? I know. So I think it's five. Five. They haven't. Uh, they haven't. Uh, I figured they would have released it by now, just because of the well, fact. Well, maybe this, the, the the fact that the strike is over now, they can release. Yeah, true. But I mean, if they that... got the content, like there's, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're saving it for the fall because that's when people are. Or they saving it for for this summer because. No, that's true too. Could be the summer. So, and I mean, if Australia is starting, although it's winter in Australia, so that might be why they're starting. Uh, all right. Uh, next up, we have a bunch of new elementary uh, things. I didn't grab everything just because there were a lot. Like literally every single one of these is a new elementary, uh, or sorry, Brothers Brick article from now on. Um, so uh, the the yes, there is a bias towards some space stuff here, but uh, uh -huh. so M is for Marvelous Magnetic Mech. This is by uh, Lego Mess, uh, Mtron inspired mech. With like a scorpion tail that has magnets on it that can pick the bin up and or the storage container up and move it down, move it off. Uh, the other thing I can say about this that I don't like is that it's not a very good way to carry more. Well, like if you need more than, to carry more than one bin, more than one storage container. Anyway, um, but I do like the look of it. I think it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, if Dana is watching, it doesn't flop over like a floppy rover. Hey, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> um, but. Uh, pretty cool and if you don't know what that is watch Bessie Mondays to or Bessie watch Old Grey Bricks a couple of times over about a week or two and when Dana's on you'll probably see his his uh, rover fail so <laughs> uh next up we have uh, without Chris in the next few weeks probably yeah true enough uh next next up we have a uh, uh, uh Hobbit uh slash Lord of the Rings um uh mock which is uh Bilbo Baggins door. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, J.R. Tolkien imagined Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins door is a circular construction, uh, green and impressive in the size for a hobbit. Um, so this is built by Gus. Uh, that's his it's name, like a windmill, a hobbit yeah. Win windmill. Oh, yeah, exactly. Sorry, I started reading it all, and I mean, the picture says it all. Um, but I just thought it was cute because it's like hobbit wise. And now we have an article coming up for, I don't know what this is for. Anyway. Uh, next up we have, uh, imagine a bowling ball, but angrier. This is by D. Jackson. Um, and uh, I kind of grabbed it because it's got a lot of weird pieces in it being used in interesting ways. The, uh, the bands from... Uh, um, those are the, uh, the watch... Or not the watch bands. Those are the... Uh, the video um, handlebars, I think, Ooh. and stuff, and just some of the weird other parts on it. I don't know. Just caught my eye as something interesting. Thought I'd throw it up here. Very cool parts um, usage. Yeah, for sure. Uh, from the Ashes, a Lego build arises is by uh, Dan V, just like a phoenix coming out of the fire. Wow. What yeah, person in cool. Oh, and there's a, there's a body here, too. Yeah. Cool. Somebody's being reborn as a phoenix. There you go. There you go. Can you tell I'm tired today? Anyways, uh, <laughs> take a look back. A, take a look. It's a late. It's in a Lego book uh, by Marcus uh, Rollbuer, uh, who was the designer of 40505 Lego Building Systems. What is that? Oh, the the okay, the modular or the the Lego has thingy. 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 Oh, uh, you know the thingy. Yeah, the thingy. Sorry about that. Thingy. I went to go back to the previous one, and I did. Back, back, back. Uh, so he basically built a book, uh, and uh, but it's a doorway to another. It's a doorway universe. into another world. But just like the use of the capes and the banners here to make like the grass looking effect and stuff, and you know the Photoshop job to make the uh, the space <laughs> around the book not be the same as the background. <laughs> Uh, but still pretty cool. Very cool. Um, couple more. Okay, probably like seven more. There were a lot of things today, and I didn't grab them all. I just I grabbed some of them. Uh, watch for the right time to build something new by uh, Dick and Lou. 
uh, just like an interesting idea. I was like, I wonder if, I wonder if these uh, these Technic pieces would actually hold on your wrist. Hmm. Like obviously, that I don't expect the plates to hold on the end, but I wonder how easily these would come off. And I, I think they'd be pretty strong. Hmm. Just thinking that'd be an interesting armband or something, right? So I don't know. Just be... thinking out loud. Um, you could try it. Yeah, maybe I will if I have enough of them. An artist's uh, journey in full bloom. Uh, this is by uh, Juwan Soon. Uh, he's become some of a celebrity in the Lego community. Uh, but I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. Nice uh, floral thing with this is uh, this is like next art. level art. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's not construction anymore. It's just no, it's yeah using Lego as an art medium. Yeah, and I mean the scale of this thing. Like the, I think these are like airplane, like tail or roof pieces, right? Yep. Because I'm like looking at these the the arches here, and it's like holy crap. Like it's a it's a large mock, so yep. it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, next up, we have uh, send an exploratory party. Like it's 1999. If Cowdice were here, he would probably love this a lot. <gasps> I, we we appreciate it. An eagle. Uh, an eagle. Yep. Uh, by uh, Calculus Calp um, from 19 uh, from space 1999, um, which is uh, just kind of cool. I mean, we've seen different renditions of this, but it's nice to see people still making it all these years later. Uh, next up, uh, architectural grandeur infused into a great ball contraption. So this is by Andreas uh, Linder. Uh, Lego build is what appears as an aqueduct, offers more depth than, than its striking foliage and eye-catching architecture design. Uh, might suggest a first glance, the build marks Andreas's debut in the realm of great ball contraptions. So this is a working GBC. Um, oh, here we have a little video here. Let me just because yeah. uh, I was like, how does it? How does yeah, it GBC? I, I, I mean, are, are the balls climbing? The... Yeah, I'm gonna just fast forward a bit here because so far they are not doing. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, so the behind are the scenes, the, the balls are in here. Yeah. The paths, the paths. Can we get it working, please? Can we get a ball? We want to see a ball. Oh, there we go. So there's a ball pump right here at the looks of it. And they're just dropping right back in. Oh, they go along the back half and drop back in. So it's a self-contained GBC. Oh, it's a self-contained GBC. Yeah, That's but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they can disconnect the, uh, the aqueduct to the back and hook it up the other way. Right? Yeah. But uh, still kind of cool. Uh, next up, building Scrabble words with tiles built with tile built letters. This is uh, by Gallery Dathina. Um, and it was from a challenge at Bit from uh, the website Brick Pirate. Um, it was a letter uh, word typograph challenge. So. Larger, larger tiles, but I was just like, oh, that's kind of cool. Just the fact that Scrabble tiles. Although this board, this won't hold seven or more. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you know, but and just Scrabble the numbers. Nerd. You using the numbers on the uh, on here <laughs> as well. Well, I know that the tile has to at least hold seven, and I think ours hold like the ones I have. Scrabble like nerd. Nine. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, we need to go bigger with our digger. Uh, this is by Dennis Bozeman, and I believe that that name is fairly well known in the Lego community. I think he's been building for many yeah, yeah. years, large Technic creations. Um, and this is just a large scale, you know, uh, large very, scale. Very, very large but, scale. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, he's from the, he's from Holland. Like I said, I've seen his stuff a lot over the years. He's also built, uh, oh, that's the same, the bucket uh uh, wow. what they, I can't think what they're called. But anyway. look, 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 just take a look at at the the cabin, the grill part in, in the front is is that big grill. It's that so, big white grill. Wow. So yeah, I was going to say the fact that it, it gives like, you an idea of the scale of this the scale. Thing. Yeah, yeah, and it's system built. I mean, there's technic in it, but it's mostly system like facing, right? Yeah. Um. So. It's so just with, with with the hauler. I mean, it's yeah. like 
more than a meter long. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just gorgeous. So, so hats off to you, sir. Uh, taking it the micro, taking the micro at a micro scale. Uh, so this is a micro scale Lego CN Tower by G159. It's a one four hundred scale, which means it's a meter, well, one point four meters tall, four and a half feet, uh, and three thousand pieces. And uh, it looks like it's on. I'm trying to look at the size of that base because this is research. I would say that's a sixteen by sixteen. Give or take. Yeah, bro. Um, so um, I plan to build one for my for my layout, um, for my Royal York well, stuff that's over here. You can't see right now. Uh, and I've already calculated that it'll be 10 feet tall and a 48 by 48 base plate. So I'm not the sure how... with will be building a CN Tower is getting the, the, the angles right for the well yeah exactly like the, I was kind of the tree the the tree it because it, it's yeah. basically a triangle it's it's three lines going yeah. up yeah yeah I mean getting the getting the shape of it is easy enough because we have try like we're pieces that are that go in three directions but yeah. yeah getting this straight line all the way up slowly going up to the right the right dimension and hiding that all inside as well because yeah. Right, like you can't. Uh, like I want it to be as smooth as possible as well. So, um, but yeah. So, and, and you have to work in that that tower in between. Yeah, exactly. The exactly. observatory so, that yeah. you have to. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, and it's going to be ten feet tall. So I'm going to have to make it so I can actually take it apart and, you know transport it but anyways uh or, graphic... or change your trailer for a 10 feet tall trailer well that that's why i'm also looking for another car because i think <laughs> uh i want to get something with a brake controller on it as well just uh for because i'll probably end up having getting a tandem well i won't get a tandem well, you, you you could act, have that installed actually so i i know but i'd rather have one built in and integrated because they're just i don't know they look nicer that way Anyways, uh, the grass is the grass is sand greener on at the Black Raven Inn. Uh, Bent Cosi's uh, build, um, just again a nice uh, a nice scene here of a, a, a medieval uh, inn. Just thought it was nice. Uh, the greenery I, is, is exceptional on, on that. Model. The which? The greenery, the, like the, yeah, the yeah. trees and trees and stuff, the yeah. vines and yeah, yeah. Good study for trees. Uh, and because it's, I, I can't help it. There were two good castle mocks here. Uh, this one's also by, or this was by Yuli Yan, Yuli Jan. And you say I'm obsessed by helicopters. Yeah, well, I'm obsessed by cool mocks on Brothers Brick, okay? Uh, the castle <laughs> of the sword stands, uh, stands at the castle. ready. So, uh, again, just kind of a cool idea. That Is it a castle or a sword? It's actually both. Um, but it's a cool looking castle, and then there's a big giant sword. sword. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the, the Minecraft sets lately because they've got like the you know they've got the big thing hanging out. But yes, believe it or not, it is also a sword, and the sword looks really nice too. Yeah, it's it's um, a Lego sword. It's a Lego sword, and it's got like the right shape and everything. I just I thought it was pretty cool, um, and it's a human sized sword. It's like the sword in the stone, only it's the sword in the castle. Um. Hmm. And if you get okay. it out, you name king of the minifigures. And going back to the Emtron Scorpion could be used as a crane on uneven terrain. Yep, that's true. Uh, there's an X-Men woman called Phoenix. Guess what happened to her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't actually watched the Phoenix movie. I think that was the one that got really bad reviews, right? Yep. Yeah. So uh, this owl won't ruffle any feathers. Uh, so this is by uh, Nikita uh, Flyfoff. Fly Fliatoff. Um, Filatov. Filatov. Nikita Filatov. Uh, I I've already seen this one, and I I saw this one earlier, and I just thought it was absolutely. You adorable. posted that yeah last week in Canadian Brick Builders, or yes, in our yes. chat, yeah, yes. Um, yeah, I think it was on no, Friday. No, we, no, we we talked about this. Oh, did we? Okay, yeah. So the sorry, this one was one of those I wasn't sure because uh, it was it, it was an April third. Okay, my apologies. I couldn't remember if we had actually talked about this one last week. Yes. Uh, I will close this now because people are offended. <laughs> it's um, a nice mock and all. Yeah, it is. We already said that. 
It is interesting. I'm getting a Wi-Fi warning. Oh, now it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, you know, every once in a while you get a little Wi-Fi signal in the top corner of StreamYard to say, I got a weak signal. But I mean, my, like I've got, I normally have gigabit. I'm just now checking quickly to see. Uh, <laughs> Jeff is uh, being hacked. No, I'm not being hacked. I'm just saying, like, I, I upgraded <laughs> the my. The guy who works at IT is being hacked. Mm -hmm. um, come on, finish loading. Yeah, I'm pushing on two. Well, I'm pushing 225 meg a second, which is actually low because I should be in the four or five hundred range. But anyways, not an issue. Okay. Um, and my upload is yeah, 28. It did go up to 30 for a second there, but anyways, okay. So yeah, um, yeah. There are two movies dealing with the Phoenix, and they messed both of them up. Yeah, I remember the last X Men where she goes into the large wave, I think it was, or something like that, and and kind of becomes the Phoenix, or there's Phoenix, like she goes to the dark side, or whatever it was. Uh, obviously, not the dark side because you know that's the wrong movie, but or the wrong genre. But uh, but yeah, so so yeah, is this going to be a short chat? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, an hour and <laughs> 10, ten minutes. Which is okay. Um, well, I we expect... did go through all the news. Yeah, you did uh, say we're... what you did last week. I did say what I, what I did yeah, say what I, I had. We covered all the bases. I'm not arguing with that. Um, I was gonna say I expect next week uh, will be like a, closer to Star Wars May the Fourth. So maybe we'll get uh, a few more things like that. Um, the fourth. The January releases we started hearing about in late November, right? Early December. Yeah, yeah. That means the June stuff we'll hear in probably starting at the end of April here, early May. Probably. If they keep to that type of cycle. So we are getting into a busier news time soon. Um, but, uh, but yeah. And so, there's uh, going to be, there's going to be an August release also. So. They're yeah, probably... well, I mean, usually the June release in Europe is the August release for us, right? Yeah. But they, I mean, there are there are different things coming out in both times, mm -hmm. and right now we're tracking May releases, so you know there'll probably be a few more. I think the uh, next Minions ones will be next May week release, well. and and also what's going to be May May the Fourth like, and yeah, what what the deals are going to be. So um, Axel's have, asking if there's any shows happening soon. Um, I think the first show for me is Brickamani, which is sometime in August, we assume. <laughs> well, and I mean, I'm, I, we've that's just from us talking, but I think yeah. it's sometime in August, or yeah. that's the plan. Gotcha. Uh, and then uh, Bricks in the Six. I'm not doing any other shows this year uh, myself. I mean, you've got your show coming up in May. Yep. In Montreal as yes. well, which is a smaller one. Um, well, I might. Sorry, smaller. No. It's it's bigger than brick can, but yeah, yeah. I mean Fair it's enough. smaller for us. Yeah, well, I meant no, I meant your your May show is a small one. Well, oh, it's bigger, big, big, bigger than brick can, even though it's in a, in, it's in a hockey yeah, ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Sorry, I was thinking you were talking about uh, bricks. In the no, no, right? I'm, I'm in, in square. We love brick can, although neither of us have been. We I want to go to brick can. I want to check it out. Yeah, I want to I want to go to brick but... can because it's it's obviously an a full party. Yeah. More than the show, yeah. So, so yeah, I want to go as an a fall. I don't want to visit the <laughs> show because I would. Yeah. I think I would be disappointed in the show. But that is as a question, mm -hmm. as an a fall party. I think it would be awesome. Uh, and that and that that's probably why they they end up having all these a falls re registrating because yeah, it's a great a fall party. Brick can is happening. Usually it's it's May, isn't it? Usually, yeah, May, um, April, for, May. Oh, the tickets are sold out. Thank you. Yeah. For, oh, the the public tickets, uh, it's sold out. When is the actual date, though, people? Come on. I'm just on their website. Tickets, location, builders, about. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not sharing. Just so you can see what I'm trying to go through. And there's John. We know John. And Aileen's wife, I believe it is. 
Um, I didn't realize John was one of the runners. Oh, there we go. April 20th. Oh, so Brick Can's coming up in a couple of weeks, 20th yeah. to the 21st. Starts Thursday. Yeah, it's, the, it, it's, it's the first Canadian show. Of yeah, the- I knew it was coming up. I just wasn't sure what it was and um, and such. So, but, uh, but yeah, it's a fairly small venue um, because it's at a casino, the River Rock Casino. Uh, and I think it's like a couple of, well, I don't want to say a couple thousand square feet. I don't know, remember the exact size, but, uh, you know. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't even match to Bricks and the Six, so. No, no. And Bricks and the Six is like 21, I think. Yeah. thousand square feet, so. Yeah, in 10 days. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and here's another one, Sean McLeod. Uh, Bricks Bo- Brick, Brick Position, August 10th. Bricks Explosion. Like brick explosion. Oh, I've always read that as brick explosion. <laughs> Whatever I said originally. Explosion. Yeah. Brick okay. explosion. Come visit Louis Braville and Cape Breton. Yeah, you know, August tenth. Oh, that's close to see. I, I was originally thinking to go to Salt Lake as well, and I'm not doing that because I'm going to save up my uh, my points to uh, to go to Billund instead next year. Not sure when, but next year in my fiftieth year. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this one's kind of interesting too, cause I'd like to actually see Louis Bricks at, at Louis Berg. Uh, I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. That's kind of, an, and, and going out to Halifax, like that would be just be a nice drive. Yeah. Longer, but I think Definitely. that'd be kind of cool as well. Um, so, hmm. I don't know. An interesting idea. So, um, and, yeah. and the more interesting thing is that Sean is is not even from Halifax originally. He's, he's from Saskatchewan. So, well, and he moved he's there. I, that's awesome. I mean, I, I I've heard it's a great place to live. I mean, the housing market is pretty decent and stuff too, yeah. right? So, and, and it, well, I think what. Well, I, I think it, it's a tribute to how good of an ambassador he is for his province and his hometown because he's not even yeah. originally from Halifax, but I think he, he 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 represents very well the the Halifax region and and its people. So yeah, kudos to you, Sean. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I mean Sean makes it to Bricks in the Six as well. Um, Maybe hopefully he can come into Brickamani one of these years as well. I've <laughs> lost my browser. I have too many windows open. Oh, there I it is. I lost my baby. <laughs> I lost my browser. <laughs> I lost my friend. I don't even want to know. My mind. <laughs> don't want to know. No, I do. But, uh, but uh, no, it's actually a, a, um, uh, a song from a French, <laughs> well, a Canadian, a French Canadian author named gotcha. Jean Leloup. Yeah, okay. But they, they sing that part in English. Oh, okay. And it goes, I lost my baby. <laughs> I lost my darling. Oh, I lost right, my right. friend. Yeah. I lost my mind. All right. Why don't we uh, call it a night now that uh, Dave is serenading us? Um, so thank you, everybody, for coming out. Um, we will uh, talk again next week. And, uh, you know, Hopefully we'll have stuff to talk about. Maybe we'll go besides, a little longer. Maybe we'll besides go longer. our books or the eclipse. Yes. Yeah. Or uh, cars. We're talking or about cars. a lot of different things that weren't Lego this week, but anyway. <laughs> uh, it's so. a it's a it's a multi thing show. Things we're interested in and not interested in. Why not? Like singing songs about anyway. All right, we'll talk <laughs> to you later and uh happy, your browser. Uh, happy week and happy helicopter hunting, Dave.